are you looking for your first ever credit card or are you looking for your next credit card in this video i'm going to go through the best credit cards in july 2020 my recommendations a little bit of knowledge on the terminology and we're going to go through the different types of credit cards that you can obtain make sure that you stick around to the very end of the video where i'll be giving you my bonus tips so first of all there are balance transfer credit cards and with these a balance transfer credit card allows you to move an existing debt from one card to another card so you can use this to manage existing debt or consolidate several card repayments into one monthly repayment on one card now this is a very handy way to avoid paying interest on a debt if you're currently paying interest or if your interest-free period is coming to an end there are some credit cards out there who will offer you an interest-free period of more than three years but a lot of them offer around 18 months so what they do to counter the fact that they're giving you zero percent interest free period is they will lump on a balance transfer fee so typically these are about three percent i would look at what the balance is that you're trying to transfer calculate that three percent and see if it's worth transferring that amount over next we have zero percent purchase credit cards so this is ideal if you're planning planning a significant purchase so if you can buy a car or if you're going on holiday um, and you want to spread the cost over a period of time without wasting any money on interest payments please be aware that with this type of card you must always make at least the minimum repayment and if you don't clear the balance before the interest free period ends then you will be charged interest so let's look at reward cards next this is a card that rewards you for using it it's where you'll get back travel miles cash back or store discounts now the problem with these types of cards is that they often come with an annual fee and a high interest rate so it's really really important to ensure that the benefits outweigh the cost and also with these cards you typically need quite a good credit score there are also several types of reward credit cards cashback credit cards reward you by paying back a percentage of what you spend on the card usually as credit on your card balance now depending on the, on the card you might get a flat cashback rate across everything that you buy or some cards have introductory rates that offer say five percent cash back usually drop into about one percent after a fixed period while others actually offer one to two percent for the lifetime of the card travel and air mile credit cards reward you with points whenever you use your card so you can use these to get discounts on flights these type of cards are typically popular with um, frequent and business travelers so you can use these travel and air mile cards to get discounts on hotels and merchandise now i will say that the number of miles that you can earn varies by card and the number of miles you need to buy a flight varies by airline or frequent flyer program next we have the general points credit cards so this is really similar to a cashback credit card and points cards reward you with points whenever you use your card that can be cashed in for a wide range of goods and services so these could be things like groceries um, electronics gift cards so reward programs and promotional offers on point cards can change often so what you need to be aware of with this type of card is that the reward programs and promotions that they offer typically change and the number of points that you can earn based on how much you spend will also vary from card to card now we also have the retail reward credit cards so these are credit cards that are offered by the likes of amazon argos um even apple apple credit card and these cards will reward you in the same way as general points credit cards but they usually offer either double or triple points for shopping with co-branded retailers so a typical example of this would be tesco credit card where you gain points by shopping at tesco so if you already shop at tesco then you're going to get reward points that you can then use as a discount towards future shopping bills so that can be quite useful but again with these type of cards you want to be making sure that you're paying off the full value of the card every month because again they do hold quite a high interest rate in a lot of cases a reward credit card um, they're not the best for everybody and they generally better serve people who can pay back their balance every month so I keep saying this but make sure if you're going to get a reward credit card that you pay the balance off every single month because they do carry a high interest rate now before you even apply for these type of cards you want to make sure that you have a good or perfect credit card rating because you might not qualify to get a reward credit card if your credit card is quite low or there needs to be improvements these type of cards would also be useful if 
if you are a frequent traveller because of the travel rewards, air miles and significant savings across a range of travel costs that typically come with this type of card. And if you're brand loyal. And by that I mean if you typically shop at Tesco and only Tesco, if you typically fly with one airline over another and those cards are specifically rewarding towards that brand. So the pros are that you, you can earn rewards quite quickly, air miles, points and cash back for doing, for shopping basically where you would be shopping normally anyway. You can also qualify for added rewards, bonuses and if managed well and used responsibly these kind of cards can help provide you with hundreds of pounds of freebies every single year. The cons again is that they tend to come with an annual fee that could outweigh the benefits if you're not earning enough rewards. They typically have high interest rates and they can cost you more than you get in rewards if you don't pay the card back in full every single month and the reward files can appear higher than they actually are so it's important to check the small print. Next we have the credit builder cards. So what I mean by this is credit cards that are tailored to people with a low credit score. So these cards might help you to build your credit history. So they typically have low credit limits, so something from around the 200 to 1000 pound mark, but they also have high interest rates because they're designed for people who are seen to be high risk. Now these type of cards are really useful if you found it hard to get a credit card for various reasons before. So if your income or employment status is not strong enough to get the card that you want, or you have a low or poor credit history, or you haven't had time to build up a credit score yet, and there isn't much for lenders to judge you on, but how do they actually work? So they usually carry a low um, credit limit and a high annual percentage rate or APR to start with, because this helps lenders to reduce the risk of losing money if you can't pay them back. But with this type of card by meeting repayments on time and in full and staying within the credit limit you can start to look more reliable to companies so as a result you'll start to see your credit score improving and you might be able to increase your credit limit but just remember that if you do increase your credit limit and how much you use it then this can also affect your score so again it's usually best to stay under 25% of your limit and if you want to know a quick way of calculating 25% of your limit just take your limit value and just divide it by four so some top tips for managing your credit bill the card is again paying the credit card off in full every single month to avoid any interest avoid late payments as you may be charged a fee and your credit limit will be reduced and if you can't pay the statement in full make at least the minimum repayment because missing one can seriously affect your future credit card applications make sure you set up a direct debit to make monthly repayments as it arrives and get text and email alerts so some of the things that I didn't know that I really, really wish that somebody had told me when I first started taking out credit cards is that credit cards can be really, really useful, not only to improve your credit score, but also as a way of managing your cash. So smart people, smart businesses, people who are financially successful tend to pay on credit card more than they do on a debit card. And the reason for that is because cash is king. So why on earth would you pay out of your debit card your cash for something when you can use a credit card in the meanwhile and have 30 days of being able to use that cash that's in your debit card? It doesn't make sense. So there is a way that you can use credit cards to your advantage. And in this video, I'm going to discuss those ways. Now, if you're smart with a credit card, what you will do is you'll take out a 0% balance transfer or money transfer card and you will use that for however long the promotional period lasts for, say it's for two years, then you use the card for two years, paying off bit by bit by bit, making sure you're making the minimum repayments. But just before you get to the very end when they're going to start slapping on that 24% APR interest, you then transfer the balance onto another card. My second tip would be if the bank ever calls you to offer you further credit, so say currently you've got £2,000 credit limit on your card and they're going to offer you £5,000 instead so your new credit limit will be £5,000. Don't decline that offer. So take it because lenders want to see that you have credit available to you that you're not using because it indicates to them that you are responsible and that you can manage and control your money effectively. So what are my top credit cards? We have the Vanquee Bank Chrome credit card, 24.7 PC Visa. 
So there are no annual or monthly fees to this one. The minimum credit limit is £250. The max credit limit is subject to status, but the APR is 24.7%. But you're going to find this with a lot of credit cards when you're first trying to build up your credit history. So they're all going to have quite a high APR, but we're going to look at the ones that have got the lowest APR here. So the next one I would recommend is the Tandem Bank Journey Credit Card Mastercard. So again with this one, there are no annual or monthly fees. Um, the minimum credit limit is £500. The maximum credit limit is up to £1,500, which again is subject to status. But with this one, you do have to have a minimum income of £15,000 a year. One of the benefits with this card is that there are no fees for making purchases or withdrawing cash abroad. But again, with this one, you have a 24.9% APR. So as long as you are making payments every single month to clear the balance of these cards, you're not going to incur this interest. Next, we have the TSB Classic Credit Card MasterCard. Again, zero annual or monthly fees with this one. Minimum credit limit is £500 and maximum credit limit is not specified. So again, this must be subject to status. With this one, it's not specifying what the minimum income requirements would be, but there is 26.9% APR with this one if you fail to make the monthly repayments or pay the balance off in full. Now, my favorite of all of these cards is a Tesco Bank Foundation Club card credit card MasterCard. With this one, you have zero annual or monthly fees, there is a minimum credit limit of £100 and the maximum credit limit is subject to status and you only need to have £5,000 minimum income. So with this one, you actually collect Tesco club car points. So you collect one club car point for every £4 spent in Tesco and one club car point per £8 spent anywhere else. So anywhere outside of Tesco on every single purchase transaction. The club card points with this one are turned into club card vouchers every three months or sooner using faster vouchers. And the club card vouchers can only be used in Tesco or with club card reward partners to get even more value on things like dining out, hotels, travel, etc. So this one, as long as you pay off the full balance of the card every single month, you're not going to incur any interest charges. But if you do, the interest rate here is slightly higher at 27.5% APR. I really hope that this video has helped you in some way and helped you to understand the terminology of credit cards. By all means, leave any comments or queries in the comments section below. And if you found this useful, please do like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications because it really does help. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.